Merry Christmas mean team. It's your girl Mava. Happy holidays and welcome to the Mayhem YouTube channel. So today we're going to discuss our men the prize. You aren't. You aren't the prize, baby. You're not. And we're, we're, we're tired of this conversation. We're tired. It is biology. It, it's biology. You're not. <laughs> okay? Before I even start this video, during this past couple of weeks, I had a giveaway hosting that I was doing, giving away a couple pieces of merch, and I just want to announce the winners of the giveaway right here, right now. Cushy, Crodberry, Codberry, Codberry, Asara, Norris. So, I'll be emailing you guys the instructions of what to do to expect your merch. It'll be shipped out to you guys. You probably won't get it, honestly, until the next year. Like, the first week of the new year. See what I did there? Because of all this packaging stuff. But, send me your information once I send you that email. I'll get it out to you as soon as I can. And I want to see you guys take pictures with your merch and the fun little bundle that I put together for you guys. Okay. Now, let's get into the topic. Are men the prize? You aren't. You aren't. Because now I'm going to get a little bit biblical on you guys. And you don't have to be Christian to understand this concept because I believe religion and science and a bunch of other people's um, cultures belief are tied into the same thing but just translated differently. I'm going to break it down to you to the way I see it. And then you can chime in if you guys want. But let's dive into this. After God created Adam, and in theory the first man, he was lonely, then made Eve out of the rib of a man as a companion. The whole scenario was manipulated into women thinking that you owe something to man just because you're lonely or need love. No, that is it. That's, I mean, that's not it. The whole concept of that is a man has something to offer in order to invite a woman into his presence. That's why a woman was made. A woman is beneficial to a man that is substantial enough to be with a woman. Other than that, the Bible literally says it's best for a man to sit on the roof of a house than to be in the presence of a nagging woman. What that means is happy wife, happy life. Women are completely fine without the stress and the incompetence of men. You are not a man if you're not providing and protecting a woman. Men are hunters and gatherers, not predators and perverts that feel women owe them their body after you stalk, harass, and coerce and threaten them. Now that you have the story, fully have a bit different level of understanding when it comes to the biology and the whole concept of man and woman and being in union. I made that post, I didn't post it, but I saved it for this video specifically because I want you guys to really understand, and especially religion the two, it bows to man. It like bows to men and then that's the whole patriarchy right it's all about men they make it seem like you're a prize the prize why are you so miserable why are the rates of loneliness so high why you're not the prize if you're the prize go kick it with your boys or do what you're supposed to and get that joy that a woman gives as a former pick me as a former barbara the Bill, barbara the builder or bonnetta i never really wore bonnets i give myself credit for that but as a woman who used to deal with guys who had nothing to offer, I, after flipping the script recently after these past 90 days, I've been listening to Sharon Seven's content, obviously, and more hypergamous women, like the girl, your next door bestie, Manifestel, the Wizard Liz, the Universe Girl, those are a bunch of women that really shaped my perspective on what it is to be a woman. It's divine, it is a gift, it is a beautiful attribute to be a woman. There's nothing easy about us being a woman, okay? Let's just mark that down right now. There's nothing easy about us being a woman, and there's no easy. There is no way around it. Our body bleeds, literally for thirty for thirty years, thirty years, thirty two years, once a month for a week. Our body bleeds. Do you think that's easy to deal with? Plan our schedules around that. Trust our intuition. Know what type of foods we eat. You know, right now I'm kind of inflamed. I ain't gonna hold you, but our gut. Our mind and intuition itself is like 
a deep spiritual spiritual connection to God. And y'all sitting here act like you're the prize. No. Do y'all want me to pull up that list of the men? The words with start, that start with the root word men? We pulled it up. And men are the prize. Why do y'all manipulate? Man slaughter. Why y'all menace? Why are the cause of mental health? You're not the prize, baby. And the only reason why I'm brainstorming about this video is because of the situation with Simone Biles' husband. Like, I don't like talking about celebrities because one day I'm going to be in the industry and you don't want to, like, you know, screw it. I don't really give a shit. Honestly, I've been with guys that try to downplay you, you you, and your success because you're feeling inferior and you thought getting with me was gonna be your past. Your past? Your past? What I'm gonna do is pass on that ass. Fuck out of here. You ain't big enough. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, but like, no, the only reason why you guys really, it's, it's like with women too, when you deal with these guys, they try so hard to make you feel like you're in the wrong for wanting what you want and able to sustain what you, to sustain the amount of peace and prosperity. You know what I'm saying? And the guy is too lazy and too freaking immature and super underdeveloped, always want to change the narrative and make it seem like you're not doing something because they're not doing something. You not doing enough. I didn't see Travis Kelsey um, bash Taylor Swift when he got with her. She's a billionaire. We know who he is. Who are you? We ain't, I ain't never seen that man bash her. So what about it? It has everything to do with, and that's the thing, especially with women too, and this is gonna be a whole separate video, when we choose to slide up out of these situations because you're only as low as the person you sit and be with or intertwine with in any sort of connection, it's like you're justifying it by allowing that energy inside of your body. So it's best you just leave it right where it's at. Don't even give it no emotion, no energy. Goodbye. What are you doing for me? Bringing me down because you don't know how to get up? Baby, please. We're not doing that. Hell no. Besides that, you know, I was just like, I was watching some of Cher's content. I think she did a live recently about attractive men in marriages. I it, I kind of just shook out of that narrative recently because I did used to just date guys that I deem attractive because I was feeling like insecure. And then once I realized those guys are really nothing, they're like, it's like dating a woman. It's gross. It's like a clash of energy. It's not, it's not giving. Like, guys that build themselves as a prize that think they hot shit, it's like, so who's going to provide and protect? Because it ain't going to be me. Like, recently I was kicking in with this man in Vegas, but mm, I don't really feel in that situation because he kind of immature and he's 45. I'm 24. Like, I'm all for age gap dating and stuff like that, but I'm not your sweet escape. I'm not a free pass for anything. The only reason why I date up is for security. You feel me? So that situation it's late to rest it was fun while it lasted but that's not something i see long term and i don't think it's like it's not sustainable and it's kind of draining dealing with guys like that but i guess when i was with him he was like i don't really know his type of energy it's that light-skinned guy energy like the god complex that um they possess or have thinking that they're hot shit and it's like dude you're not the prize you try to get in this i'm not trying to get in that I'm trying to get in the pocket no that wallet okay i ain't trying to get in nothing else but that's that but he did spend money so i'll give credit with the credit too but other than that no it's just like it's it's really annoying it's incompetent to deal with those guys that think that they're the prize because like it's going to be a endless battle because they're never going to be satisfied never you will see them jumping from woman to woman to woman to woman because you know what? Just stealing all that energy from those girls. Like, oh my God, he's so fine. He's so attractive. I'll never let a man know if he's attractive or not. If I come around and I respond back to your text messages and we hang out, you're decent enough. 
as long as I deem myself beautiful and a woman, I really, really don't care about a man's look, and no woman really should either. That's just my opinion. Because, like, if you're the pretty one, really, you don't really see nothing else but connection to the art that you created with the masterpiece of how you created and crafted your life to be. I know, I just said a lot. But ultimately, like, dude, y'all not the prize. I know y'all mama raised you to think, like, oh my god, you're the man of the house, because she couldn't get somebody to be with substantially. So she brainwashed you into emotional incest, into believing that you can have anything and anyone you want and as long as everybody's kissing your ass like your mama did that that's how life's supposed to go no your mama was a hoe and it's played out it's played out it's played out like it's played out i'm sorry it's played out because if she had done the right thing by you you would never put yourself in a position to embarrass the woman that you're with period 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 the woman is a reflection of you. And if you can't hold up to that, I'm sorry, you men are more delusional than us women. The Lulu ain't the Lulu with you because it can get your ass in jail. Okay? Other than that, mean team, I'm going to wrap up this video. I think being a woman, being one of ten children and out of the two girls and eight boys in my family, I've seen men grow up with this mentality thinking that, like, it's, it's, it's so much damage in the infrastructure with this production of men to the point where it's like I'm off all of this I've seen all the good bad and ugly ends from all them having all them brothers and like listen I'd be damned if a guy tried to demand whether it's my body whether it's access to my people that I know or any I dare a guy try to demand anything from me besides my presence I dare him because the ones that out you try to manipulate the situation you know, uh, you see that emergency button, the three, the three numbers, don't even play with me. Because I knew, I know at the other spectrum of a guy being a provider and protection, protector, excuse me, is a predator and a pervert. That's two sides of the pendulum. Provider and protector, positive octave, low, lower octaves, pervert and predator. There is no in between. Like, men are natural hunters. So if they're hunting to provide a house and family and home and money for you and security for you, he's going to do that. It doesn't matter what bracket the man is. If you're the woman he wants to do it for, and he seems fit, and he feels like he can always accomplish that because you're encouraging that, he's always going to do it. But if a predator and a pervert, they manipulate and coerce, thinking that they're depressed and this and that. I know I said a lot, but I damn sure didn't say a little. Don't let it go full. Don't let nothing I said fly over your heads. I love you guys. Merry Christmas. I know I said a lot. Happy holidays, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.